Have a nice day everyone! Welcome to Online Tutorial. My name is Dario Poblelo, a student of Amanda Kopi College taking a Bachelor of Secondary Education to major in Mathematics. And this is my partner, Wilson Asquiles Jr., a student of Amanda Kopi College, Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Mathematics. And I will discuss to you about elimination in three variables. Let's define what elimination is. Elimination is the process of solving a system of simultaneous equations by using various techniques to remove the variables successively. And elimination of three variables are systems of equations with three variables are only slightly more complicated to solve than those with two variables. The two most straightforward methods solving these types of equations are by elimination and by using three by three matrices. Okay, let's use this guide to eliminate the x, y, and z. Write all the equations in standard form cleared of decimals and fractions. Guide number two, choose a variable to eliminate then choose any two of the three equations and eliminate the chosen variable. Uh, guide number three, select a different set of two equations and eliminate the same variables in step two. Guide number four, solve the two equations from steps two and three for the two variables they contain. Guide number five, substitute the answers from step four into any equations involving the remaining variable. And last, check the solution with all three original equations. Let's use these legends to find the x, y, and z. Okay, our Roman numeral number one is the first equation. Uh, Roman numeral number two is our second equation. Roman numeral number three is our third equation. Roman numeral number four is our fourth equation. Roman numeral number five is our fifth equation. To find the fourth equation, let's uh, eliminate the first and second equation, the x. So, to find the fifth equation, let's eliminate one, the first and third equation. And to find the z, Let's eliminate the fourth and fifth equation. Here are our examples. Our first equation is x plus y minus 7z equals negative 11. And our second equation is 2x plus 7y minus 4z equals 3. And our third equation is 3x minus 5y plus 5z equals 11. First, let's eliminate the x from the first and second equation. Our first equation, x plus y minus 7z equals negative 11. And our second equation, 2x plus 7y minus 4z equals 2. Let's multiply the first equation by negative 2. Dispute the value of negative 2 to each term in the first equation. Negative 2 times x equals negative 2x. Negative 2 times y equals negative 2y. Negative 2 times negative 7z equals 14z. And negative 2 times negative 11 equals 20. And this is our new equation. Let's eliminate negative 2x and positive 2x and proceed to addition. Negative 2y plus 7y equals 5y, and 14z plus negative 4z equals 10z, and 22 plus 3 equals 25. And this is our fourth equation. Let's eliminate the x from the first and third equation. x plus y minus 7z equals negative 11, our first equation. 3x minus 5y plus 5z equals 11, our third equation. And let's multiply the first equation by negative 3. Let's distribute the value of negative 3 to each term in the first equation. Negative 3 times x equals negative 3x. Negative 3 times y equals negative 3y. And negative 3 times negative 7z equals positive 21z. And negative 3 times negative 11 equals 32. This is our new equation. Let's eliminate negative 3x and 3x and proceed to addition. Negative 3y plus negative 5y equals negative 8y. 21z plus 5z equals 26z. And 33 plus 11 equals 44. This is our fifth equation. Now, second, let's eliminate the y from the fourth and fifth equation. Our fourth equation, 5y plus 10z equals 25. And our fifth equation, negative 8y plus 26z equals 44. Let's multiply the fourth equation by positive 8. Distribute 8 to each term in the fourth equation. 8 times 5y equals 40y. 8 times 10z equals 80z. And 8 times 25 equals 200. And this is our new equation. Let's multiply the fifth equation by 5. 5 times negative 8y equals negative 4y. 5 times 26z equals 130z. And 5 times 44 equals 220. Let's eliminate 40y and negative 40y. And proceed to addition. 80z plus 130z equals 210z. And 200 plus 220 equals 420. To find the z, let's divide both sides by 210 using the division property of equality. 210, let's eliminate it to remain the z. 420 over 210 equals 2. We have the value of z. Third, substitute the value of z. 
to the fourth equation. 5y plus 10 is equals 25. 5y plus 10 times 2 equals 25. 5y plus 10 times 2 equals 20 equals 25. So we have 5y plus 20 equals 25. Let's subtract the 20 and 25 by, by 20 using the subtraction property of equality. 5y plus 20 minus 20 equals 25 minus 20. So the answer will be 5y equals 5. Let's divide both sides by 5. Using the division property of equality, let's eliminate 5 and remain the y. 5 over 5 is equal to 1. So we have the value of y equals 1. The value of say equals 2. The value of y equals 1. And the value of x is unknown. Let's find the x. Our last, substitute the y and say. x plus y minus 7 is equals negative 11. Using our first equation. y equals 1. Z equals 2. Substitute the value. X plus 1 as our y. And x plus 1 minus 7, 2. 7 times 2 equals our z equals negative 11. x plus 1 minus 14 equals negative 11. So x plus 1 minus 14 equals negative 13 equals negative 11. So by using the addition property of equality, let's add both sides by 13. So x minus 13 plus 13 equals negative 11 plus 13. So the answer will be x equals 2. Now, we have the value of say equals 2, the value of y equals 1, and the value of x equals 2. To check, let's use any of the equations from the fourth, first, second, third, and fourth, and fifth equation. Substitute the value of x, y, and z. Now, we have the first equation. Our x is 2, our y is 1, and our z equals 2. Our first equation, x plus y minus 7z equals negative 11, and substitute the value. 2 plus 1 minus 7 times 2 equals negative 11. 2 plus 1 minus 7 times 2 equals negative 14 and equals 11, negative 11. 2 plus 1 minus 14 equals negative 11. 2 plus 1 equals 3 and minus 14 equals negative 11. 3 minus 14 equals negative 11 and equals negative 11. So, it's okay. Negative 11, negative 11. Correct. Now, we have the vectors. Take test yourself. Let's proceed to test yourself. So, I will uh, prepare some examination or quiz for you to answer to eliminate the x, y, and z. Find the value of the variable x, y, and z. First equation x minus 2, y minus 2z equals negative 8. Our second equation, 2x minus y plus z equals 9. Our third equation, 4x plus 3y minus 3z equals 5. And this is our first, second, and third equation. So, thank you for watching. I hope you learned, and I hope you enjoyed and eliminated. Thank you for watching.